Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have a uh, vinegar-based pepper sauce, one of my favorite types of hot sauces, and this one is called Smoke Brand Legendary Hot Pepper Sauce. Really nice looking label, and uh, their saying is, where there's smoke, there's flavor. And this was made with all natural ingredients. Uh, a very short list of ingredients on this one, so I'm really excited to uh, try this one out. And this was sent to me from the owner, uh, Patrick Tolbert. And uh, we have something in common. Patrick is a, uh, a U.S. veteran. He served 11 years in the Navy. And uh, he also uh, lived and worked in Germany. I spent some time over in Germany as well. He was over there for the past 22 years working. And uh, he just relocated back to the States about six months ago. He's originally from Oregon, but now he is living in beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado. And uh, just getting started with his company, uh, Smoke Brand LLC. So uh, uh, this is a proud veteran-owned company made in the USA. Just love seeing that right there on the side of the label. And uh, let me go ahead and get into the ingredients on this one. This really sounds good. I don't think I've ever had a, a vinegar-based pepper sauce with this few of ingredients in it. Uh, sodium is very low, only 15 milligrams. It's 100% natural, no artificial preservatives. It's uh, no artificial flavors or MSG. It's gluten-free, allergen-free. And we just have apple cider vinegar, habanero pepper, butjalopia pepper, and xanthan gum. So that's it, just basically apple cider vinegar and peppers. And Patrick was telling me that he does use a combination of fresh uh, uh, pepper mash and dried peppers in this particular sauce. So let's go ahead and get into this. I think these types of sauces, uh, you really got to understand a vinegar-based vinegar -based pepper sauce is, uh, is something that you want to use to flavor your food, to enhance the flavor of your food. Uh, just like you would salt and pepper, use this as a table condiment. Uh, if you're not a fan of vinegar, then you probably should stay away from pepper sauces. Uh, this is not a thick, uh, savory uh, hot sauce that's going to stick on top of your steak or your burger or things like that. So just kind of understand the difference. And I like these type of sauces. As you can see, it's got a nice dark color to it coming from those peppers. But let's go ahead and check out the aroma on this one. And it does have a flow restrictor, so I'm going to take it off just so I can get to it really good. All right, here we go. little bit of tartness from the apple cider vinegar and you smell the peppers I can smell the uh, the smokiness it's probably dried uh, ghost peppers but uh, not for sure but I th that's my guess yeah you get a nice smoky flavor coming from the uh, peppers but let's go ahead and get this on a spoon try this out All right, here we go. I'm gonna do it without spilling it. Mmm. Wow. That's got a pretty good bite to it. Wow. You get the vinegar tang. You get the apple cider vinegar tang. You get a immediate burn coming from the from the peppers, uh, most likely the habanero peppers that are in here. This has got a nice burn to it immediate. You can taste, actually you can taste the, um, I believe you can kind of separate and taste the flavors of the habanero peppers in this. I'm going to get just a little bit more, but boy, it's got a pretty good bite to it. Mm. Wow, for just having vinegar and peppers, this thing has got some flavor, and it is all pepper flavor. Actually, you can taste the habanero peppers in here, and you get that slightly uh, smoky flavor coming from the butchalokia peppers as well. Well, uh, fantastic job on blending just vinegar and peppers. Um, you can smell the apple cider vinegar a little bit. It's not overpowering though, uh, but you can taste 
the vinegar as well. Uh, so if you're not a fan of vinegar, you may not like this, but uh, I do. I like it a lot. And the pepper flavors are really coming through on this one. But uh, I think this would be good on um, noodle dishes, on rice dishes, um, on eggs, on pizza. And I've got a little bit of leftover breakfast here. I've got some grits and uh, a little bit of an omelet left over. So I'm just going to shake this all over this and let's try this out. Ooh, that's got a pretty good bite to it. All right, here we go. Mmm. Wow, that is good on eggs. I like it on eggs. I like this type of um, vinegar-based pepper sauce on eggs. Um, if you're a fan of Tabasco, if you're a fan of the Louisiana style uh, pepper sauces, uh, but you want something a lot hotter with that less sharp bite uh, from the vinegar that, uh, for example, that's in Tabasco. I happen to like Tabasco. I respect it. I like it a lot. But this is for you. If you're a fan of Tabas Tabasco pepper type sauces, but you want something, this has got me sweating a little bit, but you want something with a lot more flavor, a lot more heat, then this is a good one right here. Smoke brand hot pepper sauce. Man, this is good. On flavor, uh, for a pepper sauce <clears throat> with low sodium, getting the flavor of the peppers, uh, this is getting a strong 9 out of 10. Highly recommended. This is a, a, a must buy if you're a, favor, a fan of these type of sauces on heat. Um, it has got a strong medium burn to it, so I would give it a, um, I was thinking five or six, uh, so I'll give it a, uh, I'll give this one a uh, five, a strong five out of ten. Got a nice burn, nice lip burn, habanero burn on it, all over mouth burn on this one. So great job, Patrick. Everybody, you can check them out on Facebook at Smoke Brand uh, Pepper Sauce, and the website is Smoke, without the E, Smoke Brand. Dot com. I'll put the links in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys on the next one.